You already know it's Thomas Jackson, aka the GO, young underrated natural genius and fluent of creative experience. That's what makes him young ice right there. The mad scientist. I'm like um, Albert Einstein when it comes to the music, man. Like I'm one of the ones who stand out. I'm the greatest producer to ever do it. Learn from some of the greatest, which is one of my uncles who incarcerated. Free him, Javon Wilkes, my mama oldest brother. A lot of great producers in the game as well. It's like, you know, Swiss Beats, um, Ryan Leslie, them guys I look up to that made me who I am, like, and they describe my sound. You know, they call me Boss Lyric, you know what I'm saying? I've been knowing Ice for a couple of years. You know, I, I ran, I met him to my homeboy Jers, you know what I'm saying? Ever since then, we've been rocking. I recorded a song with him, and we've just been rocking ever since. Alright. Man, I've been doing this as long as I've been able to move my hands and feet. Which mean the first day I stepped out the womb, like, I felt like I was probably beating in my mom's womb, like, just, you know, like, doing music, man, like, it, cause it ran in my family, so, like, when I was young, I remember, like, my pops, he bought me a drum set, and I ended up busting it, cause, you know, I was, I didn't know what I was doing, but I just fell in love with music, playing drums, man. Okay, here we go. So, if you can pay attention to the cover, like, that's me, that's me in pre-K graduating. And if you can zoom in, as you notice, I'll call it right back. I got my pops on the left hand side, rest in peace to him. We got the same name. I'm a junior with both our name, Thomas Jackson. And then we got Charlotte in the background. And then we got, of course, a mic. We got a mixing board, we got the speakers. Just basically giving them the timeline of my life. Was started December 17, 1991. Oh man, I was at the house in the crib, you know, normally doing what I do, which is, you know, normal day at the office working. And I seen it, I'm like, wow, this crazy. Like, see, I've actually heard something about it, but you know, like, if you don't really do your own research, because that's very important, like, a lot of people. We be on the internet a lot, but we don't take time out to research the things that's important. I think I was, I was at the house. I was at the house. I probably had just got off, and I was, it was my day off, I think. But yeah. I got a phone call saying that, you know, we're not returning back to work. <clears throat> and that's how that happened. It was like, um, like the X part, and kind of like towards the end. I mean, shit, that, that's what bring R&B out, though, them harmonies. Like, them backgrounds and stuff. But yeah, we can definitely, like I said, we can probably try, like, going all the way through just to see how it sound, and then whatever. We... Okay. He actually works with the artists. He don't let you record and just be like, oh, yeah, that sounds good. If you hit the wrong note, he gonna stop you. He gonna tell you the note that you need to be on. He gonna re-record you. Every time you mess up, he coaches you through your song. He don't just let you record. And just to get your money, he's gonna help you to make that hit. Well, you know, he, he is a producer, so try not to catch the corona. Cause you know you work with like a, a million people coming here recording. You gotta make sure they strapped up with that mask. Cause uh, you might catch that mother uh, for real. <laughs> when I first heard about it, like, you know, you're gonna take it like any other thing. Like, it's gonna have you questioning, it's gonna have you curious, especially due to the fact like 
that it's something that we never experienced before, but I've seen that it has been around for a while, but it's just like the 19th century of it and really just coming into the country and affecting us as a whole, so, yeah. Well, I say like I actually came encounter with it, and the way it affected me was I was one of the ones that wasn't. Well, I was one of the ones that was asymptomatic. If I'm saying it right, where well, they say like you can have it, but you don't show symptoms, and like they say like if you you can't taste, you can't smell, then you know that you got it for a fact. And I didn't really have that symptom like. I had like a light cough and stuff and I had a major crazy headache where some of the medications that I was taking like ibuprofen, it really didn't do nothing for me but I had to just, you know, like any other thing, let it take its course and, you know, try to get by with it. I caught the coronavirus, you know what I'm saying, I'm a victim, I'm a survivor of it, so that's why I say it hurts me but I was able to save more money and, you know what I'm saying, accumulate more money during the pandemic, you know what I'm saying? But it just hurt me because I caught the coronavirus. It affected it in a good way and a bad way. The good way is that I'm still able to get out the bed and still be able to focus on my craft and focus on my journey as far as trying to keep continuing doing this music and getting farther than where I'm at. And on the bad note, I would say it affected it because the time that I was down, I wasn't able to really do what I love. And you know, when you're not able to do what you love, that kind of tame you a little bit. If you're gonna be out here doing this music, that's all I, I, I got to tell you is, don't fall back, apply the pressure, push forward. Step on that gas and keep it, keep it going. That's what I got, that's all I need to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all you need to know. As long as you keep on pushing forward, something gonna happen. Don't never fall back. I always believe in your dream and just, Run with it. Well, the words of encouragement that I would give somebody is that it's not an overnight success. Even though I feel like some people have had an overnight success because, like they say, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And that's true, too. But I feel like the ones that have it right now, they're just only there for temporary. But the ones who have it hard and their time don't come as quick as others, those are the ones that have a real story to tell and they are the ones that will experience longevity as myself. So I would say like, don't lose hope when you feel like you're not getting nowhere. Stay focused, stay dedicated, stay hungry no matter what. Don't let nobody tell you that you're not able to do this because anything that you put your mind to in life, you've been able to do 